It's time for your first productivity forecast for the month of June. Overall, the energy for June is mixed, I would say. It's super, super easy from now until Labor Day to just kind of go with the flow. Let me just tell you, the flow is doing nothing. It's, you know, yes, you're going to have fun. You're going to spontaneously do some things. But if you really want to end up in September, knowing that you've gotten household projects done and you're still focusing on your financial work, you got to make a plan now. You really have to make a plan the end of May, beginning of June, and then you can go with the flow because you will have set the flow. I like to be the flow setter. Whenever my husband says, let's go with the flow, I'm like, no, because then we'll end up doing nothing or we'll end up discussing with people about 18 different ways you can do something and then we're late and then somebody's frustrated. No, I just rather have a plan and do the plan. So we're gonna to talk today a little bit about the plan. So let's look at the month of June. June is the month where you can actually set and achieve your plans. When we get to July, not so easy. So let's talk about the things that are coming up in June. Remember, you're going to get this in the email if you download the email and or you can just go to organize365.com and download your calendar. That's gonna tell you the unexpected things that are coming your way that we should know because they're kind of expected, but we tend to forget about them. So the expected unexpected things that happen in June are Father's Day. Let's talk about, let's just stop right now. Let's talk about Father's Day for a minute. These are my father's ties. He passed away about, I think 14, 15 years ago. And pretty much every single Father's Day I can remember, I got him a tie. So my father was a golfer and he did actually wear suits to work when he was in sales. Look, you see the little golf on there? Isn't that so fun? I totally remember, this is the first tie I bought him with my own money. It was in the 80s. It wasn't really his style. It's a little bit more um, graphic, but he wore it because he's such a good dad. This one, I, I love this tie. This is my favorite tie. I don't know if you have something that you always bought your father or something that you have your kids buy your husband that's the thing. Ties were the thing that I always would buy my dad. And so this year, I'm giving you a couple of weeks head start on Father's Day. If your father is still around, think about what maybe would really match what he does today versus the traditional tie. So for my husband, he's getting a Cutco knife and it is a, be careful, Lisa, it's a cheese knife. So we like to have Sunday dinners and on Sunday dinner, we have a lot of appetizers and we are into all different kinds of cheeses. And I thought that that would really support this family event that we have every week that is really important to my husband. So Father's Day, Father's Day is on your June calendar. Another thing newer on our June calendar, which we probably should have been celebrating for forever is Juneteenth. Mark that on your calendar. A lot of places are closed now on Juneteenth and really think about how you wanna celebrate that day of freedom this month. Like I said, there's not a lot on the June calendar, but those are the things that are on the June calendar that people in the United States are probably going to be celebrating those two things. Other things, artificial things that Organize 365 puts on the calendar tomorrow. Tomorrow is when we focus on planning for our work. So the podcast last week really talked about how we really, 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 really need to make a plan for what we're doing this summer for ourselves personally and for our work. Because if we don't, we'll wake up and it's September and whatever you do now will really support you in the fall in bringing in the revenue and the production and the productivity that you need in your company to stay in business. Teachers, did you notice I have a new sweatshirt? This is my Ashland University sweatshirt. The Ashland University teacher course is live. It started June 1st, but it's open enrollment. Like you can sign up now, you can sign up July 1st, get your teacher work box, get everything organized. I know you just ended the school year. You're like, please, I do not need to start this immediately. But yes, get your college credits, three graduate credit hours and your Friday workbox if you do it through Ashland University, or you can just buy your workbox from Organize 365, not pay for those graduate credit hours. Either way, join us in teacher camp. You've been, you're going to hear a lot about that in July. Okay, so those things are on the calendar. If you look at our calendar, there are a couple of other things we're doing. We have our paper organizing retreat. That's, there are only two paper organizing retreats and certification events left for 2024. This is one of them. It's gonna be on June 22nd. That's a Saturday here in Cincinnati. Also, you'll notice uh, on June 14th, we're doing the Paper Solution Book Club. You probably have the Paper Solution book. Join us in the book club, get your questions answered. 
that's what we have on our calendar. Oh, one more thing on June 29th is our live Embrace experience. For those of you who already have Embrace, maybe you're doing the add-on and adding on that blush pink Sunday basket and also this live event experience that we're having on the 29th. Now, there is uh, one more big thing that I want to talk to you about today. So we are starting summer. And this week on the podcast, I talked to you about having a really big, meaty goal. If you're listening to this as it comes out, it's what's coming tomorrow morning on the podcast. We're really talking about why do you have a goal? And really when I was recording this, I realized that the reason why I think we don't really set and achieve goals in our household is because the way that you set and achieve goals in work are smart goals. Specific, measurable, actionable, time bound. I'm like, please, specific. You can start specifically, I'm going to do the dishes and five minutes later, you're like in the laundry room or stripping a bed somewhere else. Like specific doesn't work at home. Like smart goals just don't work at home. So I made smarty goals like the candy. So you'll learn tomorrow all about smarty goals. And then I talked about how you can get a really big meaty project and apply those smarty goals to it all year, all summer long. However, I don't want you to purchase anything in the store. I'm going to say that again. I don't want you to purchase anything in the store from now until a week from now. And you're like, what kind of a business owner are you? I don't know, probably a bad one. Anyways, I don't want you to purchase anything because we are going to have customer appreciation days starting next week. So you can download this below the video below, sign up for our newsletter. You'll be getting this tonight. Our customer appreciation sale will start in one week. And I've really been thinking about this. You know, Organize 365 for the first 11 years in business didn't do any sales at all whatsoever. And when we do do a sale, it's very small. This is a 15% off, free shipping over $250. So it's not like it's a million dollars off and free shipping on everything. Like it's a very small sale. However, it is a sale and we don't normally do a sale. And so as I was thinking about this, I was thinking, okay, well, we could just do a pop-up sale and you're accidentally on vacation and you missed it. Or... We could do this the Organize 365 way. And the Organize 365 way is planned. It's an extremely planned store uh, sale that we're telling you all about. We have a guide for you to download. This guide is gorgeous. Not only is a guide, you're gonna be able to download and do your Smarty goals. Isn't that so cute? I didn't design it, that's why I could say it. It's the candies. I think you should have a few Smarty candies just for fun. We're coming out with some things just exclusively for the sale. And then also we've calculated that sale price. So you can print this out like it's a catalog. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love a catalog. I just, I love a catalog. I love turning down the pages. I love, you know, just everything about a catalog. Now we can't mail it to you, but you can print it out. And it's so much easier than shopping in our store even. So what we want you to do is print it out, look at it, and think about it for a whole week. Like, just think about, do you wanna join the certification? Do you wanna go ahead and add Friday work boxes for your team? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna have planning day tomorrow and I'm gonna talk about how you might want to take advantage of the sale and get more of your team members on board. So this is a solid week to just download the guide, think and dream about what is possible and also think about your big meaty goal for the summer. Whatever your big meaty goal for the summer is, what are the supplies that you need to do that? I mean. We're finishing remodeling the basement. I can't even tell you how many different times I go to Lowe's and Home Depot just to get enough stuff to get this project done. So really think through what your meaty goal is gonna be this summer. What are the supplies you need to make that come to fruition? And then next week when I come back, that is when we will kick off the sale. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great week. <music>